In this video, I'm going to introduce the term radiculopathy. Radiculopathy. And radiculo means root, and pathy means dysfunction or disorder. So that radiculopathy is dysfunction of spinal nerve roots. Dysfunction of spinal nerve roots. So this is a focal problem of the peripheral nervous system, similar to mononeuropathy, but instead of nerves, we're talking about the spinal nerve roots. So like the mononeuropathies, this is a category of neurological syndromes because it depends on which level of spinal nerve roots are dysfunctional in terms of what syndrome will occur. Just like with mononeuropathy, we can see dysfunction of the three types of axons that travel in the peripheral nervous system. We can see somatosensory abnormalities. Somatosensory. We can see lower motor neuron abnormalities. Lower motor neuron. And just like with the mononeuropathies, we could theoretically see autonomic abnormalities because there are autonomic axons in the spinal nerve roots. However, we usually don't. The common radiculopathies, we usually don't see autonomic abnormalities, or if we do, they're very subtle compared to the somatosensory and or lower motor neuron abnormalities. One particular somatosensory abnormality tends to be very prominent with radiculopathy, and that's the somatosensory symptom of pain. There is often a lot of pain with radiculopathy, and the pain is fairly characteristic because it often starts from the area of the spine where the spinal nerve roots are dysfunctional, and then it rapidly radiates down the territory of that spinal nerve root. Whatever skin gets somatosensory innervation from those spinal nerve roots, that pain often kind of shoots down that territory of, of those spinal nerve roots. And that shooting pain we, we actually call radicular pain from radiculopathy because it's so characteristic of of dysfunction of the spinal nerve roots. Also similar to the mononeuropathies, the most common radiculopathies involve the arm or the leg. And just like mononeuropathies, this tends to be on one side, although occasionally patients will get radiculopathies on both sides, but more often they have dysfunction of spinal nerve roots on one side of the body. I'll get into the details of the common radiculopathies in other videos, but just to give an example of this category of neurological syndromes, I'll briefly mention the most common radiculopathy, which involves the fifth lumbar spinal nerve roots. So these are spinal nerve roots that come out low down in the spinal cord around here, and the somatosensory neurons that come out at this level have a territory that goes all the way down the leg and all the way down to the toes, so that there's this big swath of skin that can have somatosensory abnormalities. And similarly, the lower motor neuron axons that are traveling through these spinal nerve roots extend a very long way all the way down the leg to a bunch of muscles down lower in the leg, so that with some kind of disorder here at the spinal nerve roots, close to where these axons are leaving and entering the spinal cord, we often get symptoms not only here at the area of dysfunction of the spinal nerve roots, but way farther down the leg where those axons are coming from and going to that have to pass through that area of dysfunction. So we may get somatosensory abnormalities of the upper leg way up here and the lower leg going way down into here and even all the way onto the foot and the toes. Let me just draw some of that in here on the, on the back side of this guy as well. And then we may see lower motor neuron abnormalities of a bunch of that area as well. A bunch of different muscles in different parts of the leg, both close up to where the leg joins the trunk and farther away, down, down by the foot. And of these somatosensory symptoms, again, with these radiculopathy, one of the prominent ones tends to be pain. And with this most common radiculopathy at the fifth lumbar spinal nerve roots, the pain will often start here in the low back where the, where the problem is, but then it'll kind of shoot down the leg like this. Look at these shooting pains down the leg that we call radicular pain. And this particular one where it kind of shoots down the leg like that actually has a common name of sciatica. You may have heard people talk about their sciatica when they get this shooting pain down the leg. 
So again, I'll go into a lot more of the specifics of the different common syndromes of radiculopathy from the levels of the spinal nerve roots that are commonly affected by different disorders. But I just want to introduce this category of radiculopathy because these are, these are quite common neurological syndromes people present with.